know what they're gonna do. Oh, All right, here we so go. this is one of our winners' finals. It's gonna be Ned versus Jimmy. It's not gonna be a cloud ditto because okay, so like here's the thing. Like I have, uh, this is something that I've been uh, also a proponent of is that Ned historic like you see Ned pull out Lucina a lot versus Cloud, and there's a very big reason for that. A lot of Cloud mains do not. Oh my goodness. Did that just happen? Did that just happen. He, he got he's, just gonna, he's just gonna cut me off like that, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's just gonna go for something crazy like that, and he's just going to. Oh well, he's dead too. So. Uh, okay, <laughs> well uh, there you go. So anyway, what as I was saying, like Ned is one of those cloud players that just does not like the mirror. They don't like playing the mirror, which is totally understandable because. The cloud mirror is just, it's a lot of, it's really momentum based. Yeah. And Ned's one of those players where he needs to have that momentum in order for himself to be feeling it re really good. And th this is just more like a comfort pick because Lucina has some of the faster options, has a little bit, uh, does not have the space that Cloud has, but still has a disjoint that can contest with him. Yeah. But the problem is, once Cloud gets limit, that's where it gets a little bit tricky to kind of deal. Although right now, Ned finally getting stage control back. Yeah, get not Jimmy on the way to the mark with the fairs because one miss about that, and Jimmy can literally let run, let limit run free and his stock right here. But Jimmy being very very careful, doesn't want to miss up and get thrown off stage. Oh, okay. Let's grab there. So let's trap him a little bit more. Oh. Forward smash not gonna connect. Let's try and maybe anticipate Jimmy coming right down on top because the top of that hitbox can hit if you do time it right. Yeah. No, good Ooh, stuff. Though. Pulled the trigger, but Ned got out of the way and gets a full punish off of that. Yeah, that, that's one of the key that's one of the key examples of why Ned kind of goes Lucina is because if he gets an opportunity to get damage or make a comeback or anything, Lucina's just more seated and more able to make that comeback in a more efficient manner. Whereas Cloud, you have to like, you have to have limit. You have to be punishing, you know, people in the air. You've got to be making sure that your conversions are on point. Like right here, this is Jimmy doing really good early game. Against Cloud, like, there's a lot of things that kind of make the Cloud Mirror not really fun to play. Yeah. That also is just, like, personal player preference, too. Because Ned's one of those players, he... I, I'm of the proponent that if if he should play, he should play Angry, because Angry Ned plays really, really well. Yeah. But if he's just trying to get things done, like, I definitely see why he goes to Cena instead of Cloud. Yeah, Marcino's definitely not a bad pick. Very solid pick to go to has good neutral to get things done if done right and when you select the attacks correctly and I like what uh, Ned was doing he's kind of selecting his fares at a good uh, he's spacing them very good so like even if he hits on shield he's not gonna get punished and he's like pressuring Jimmy to kind of back off but Jimmy able to find this first stock there countering through all that pressure <coughs> Jimmy's definitely finding an easy time finding some offense. Like that, that first, the first game, he took a stock really, really early because of just a really good capitalization. Anytime that he's been getting damage, he's been extending it to as far as he can make it safe. Right. Oh. Nice connect there. Yeah. Ned looking to look for uh, to end it all there, trying to get a two that's, frame. Okay, that right there, that's one of Jimmy's favorite setups. He loves drop zone. He just loves like walk off forward air with Cloud. Oh, tried to swing on the follow up of that tech chase with the up smash, but Ned doing a good job of avoiding it, giving him an F smash of his own, evening the stock count at one. And that's definitely gonna put in the work here, but Jimmy just still rushing in there and using those good cloud options to kind of just get the attacks that he needs. Charging limit there, only a few more needed to be safe. I like the spacing that Ned is pulling out on the nair. Yeah, like he's he's spacing it really really well off ledge. Yeah, it's like a beautiful symphony launch. Oh wow, nice empty hop there. 
forcing Jimmy to spend limits now. This is a pretty big situation. If Ned gets his edge guard, oh, if Ned gets an edge guard, then he can make this work because Jimmy now no longer has limit, but he's going to get close off of this exchange right here. Oh, that's going to be What I was going to say earlier is that um, Ned was doing the same thing again where he was choosing his aerials perfectly and then I, uh, he was going to try and shield break him but Jimmy just nowhere in sight. Jimmy able to see that and able to push Ned off stage. You know, I, you know I honestly think that Jimmy's avoiding that because when Jimmy last played Earl of M, he got shield broken <laughs> so many times. And even then, like, he was, like, asking me, like, what do I do? And, and honestly, like, oh, well, well, I was there, I, and I said it on commentary, too. Just take the hit. Yeah. Just just take the hit. If you see it coming, like, just taking a mile amount, unless, like, it's charged enough where it's going to be able to kill. Oh, my God. When Ned with the, speaking of killing, Ed, Ned with that edge guard right there. Yeah, able to get a few fares into Nairs and then just keep proud off stage, burning Jimmy's jump and even getting the bet the dolphin slash. Jimmy not able to tech that and dying very early. Yeah, Jimmy just still trying to get some offense going, trying to space everything, but not getting the mark there. Well Ned very calmly racks up percent on Jimmy. Nice use of fares kind of spacing away. Up tilt. Trying to come down with the down air. That's actually kind of a brave option because Cloud's up air. It can kind of clank with that. Uh, trying to end it all there with that uh, cross slash, but Ned not going to just easily get up there and get hit by that. Waiting for all the frames to come out before getting back up. That should be it. No jump. This is, yep. Far enough away. That's going to be it. Really good edge card by Ned. That's one thing that he's also really good at with Lucina. He's Really good at reading what kind of ledge setups Jimmy is doing on, and he's really good at getting around it because like he's put so many hours in the cloud that anytime he's facing another cloud, you can tell when he knows exactly what option they're going for. Like anytime that he's by ledge, he knows the game plan, he knows how to get around it, and he knows how to execute it really well. Yeah, using that cloud knowledge to advantage to find and execute. Uh, Jimmy's stock, taking that jump away from him and getting that easy kill. Let's get into game four here. On Dreamland. Oh wow. Back throw. Yeah, Nate able just to catch Jimmy everywhere. And again, just starting really strong right out the gate. A lot of his offense not coming up in his favor, but now Jimmy. Oh, doesn't have a jump. <laughs> Wispy not letting uh, Dancing Blade no. get all the hits that it needs. <clears throat> but now Jimmy has limit and has been getting a couple of hits in. He's going to have to burn it right here. Now start back from square one. Yeah. Nice Nair tries to follow up with the dash tag, but Ned taking away. Good spot dodge to avoid the down smash. Yeah, he's very carefully trying to dance around all of uh, Cloud's options to kind of force Jimmy into a bad that situation. tech was amazing. Yeah, godlike tech coming off the net. That was oh. on the very edge. Oh, and Jimmy went too far. Yeah, maybe he thought he had his jump or just didn't, wasn't aware of his space, but unfortunately he loses his stock there and he wasn't doing bad either. If he can keep up this offense, he might be able to keep it even. Jimmy's offense kind of actually slowing down because Ned was able to keep pressuring him with those fares. And then even when he wasn't fair, he would just run up and grab Jimmy. Just like that was about to happen. <laughs> yeah. And Jimmy trying to react with the Nair out of shield, but Ned doing a good job of just kind of acknowledging his offense there. Now Jimmy with limit has the opportunity to kill. But if he can get rid of this stock without wasting his limit, then... He's got a pretty good chance of keeping the momentum going into this. Yeah, and there out of shield, just kind of keeping it as a spacing tool. Okay. The down smash coming out, and now we're even at one stock piece. Oh, nice. 
Ned trying to read that option where Jimmy would just fall onto the edge there, but Jimmy not giving into it, just able to jump back on stage, but not able Hold to air. find any answer around Ned Trent with the forward air, dancing blade. Jimmy off stage. Manages to get back, keeping his limit. No jump, he's gonna have to burn it. Oh, and and again, still nothing, but manages to make it back safely. Now this is the situation where you don't want to be in. And that's gonna be it. That is all she wrote. Ned gonna take that pretty convincingly, 3-1. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's just good seeing Ned back in that kind of form, you know? Yeah, like, he definitely, definitely found himself there, found the character, found